I've got a few amazing pairs uh, to show you. They're, they're mostly exotic skins. Um, what we've got here. Um, these are these are from about 1960. They're in beautiful, really quite stunning original condition. And um, they're ready for a bit of a moisturising. I have moisturised them in the past. I've worn them once or twice, but I've never really got around to wearing them regular. But they are ready for quite a moisturising, even though they've got a lovely uh, sort of glossy, sort of very beautiful surface. I'm just going to use a little bit of solvent just to clear away any glaze and um, go through the moisturising pro process. Now this is an identical pair by the same maker, but they're, they're in black. And I've never moisturised these and I've never worn them. So they're going to take a lot more effort. Of the two, the black are slightly more refined. If I get the, they've got a slightly slimmer toe. This brown one's a bit more bulbous. And that one's just, the black one is just a little bit slimmer. Um, yeah, that's got a, quite a bulbous toe to it. And then this one's just a little slimmer. These are made to order about 1960 by Footjoy, both alligator. To be honest, I was going to sell both pairs. And now I've sort of come to preparing them for sale. I don't know if I can part with these because they fit me so well. But a pair that I'm definitely going to sell are these. About 1940 um, alligator skin, truly beautiful. Um, I've moisturized these in the past, but certainly not for some time. And I'm going to be cleaning these up and moisturize them in preparation for sale. They're around about um, a UK size eight. Um, I'll, um, I'll, I'll prepare them and um, I'll make a separate video if anybody's interested in uh, looking at these shoes then send me direct messages um, but these do not fit me beautiful there they are they don't fit me but they've got all the original soles heels this will all be moisturized I'll really go through spend hours and hours getting the skins completely perfect very much like I did on the uh, previous series of videos where I where are they in fact they're still here um, if you saw the previous uh, uh, videos of me moisturising these um, lizard skins, I'll do the same. And um, then I, I'm going to part with these. They don't fit me. I can't make them fit me. So yeah, I'll definitely sell those. But <clears throat> now that I've actually got these in front of me and um, I'm looking at cleaning them up, I was going to sell them. I don't think I could bring myself to do it, but we shall see. Somebody might persuade me. They have like um, a spade sole as well, which is more of a... Um, a 1930s thing, but these are not 1930s, they're 1960 or thereabouts. Then I also got something else which is really, really special, and these are going to get sold. These are, they're, in, they're looking a bit sorry for themselves, um, but these are button boots from about 1910, but they're actually very supple. And this is how the boots came to me, um, all black and the polish is all crunchy, but the skin below the polish is actually really quite good. I've spent several hours stripping the polish off this one and bizarrely the skin underneath is green um, which was quite a surprise didn't expect that um, but dissolving away the old polish and there's very little cracking um, so I'm going to be stripping the other boot um, it'll take hours probably eight to ten hours to strip the polish off then I'll be I'll re-dye the boots I'll moisturize the boots um, moisturize all the sole and I'll, I'll prepare those they will look really beautiful they'll have a military sort of shine on the cap toes I'm not really sure what the size is. I'm guessing they're about a size UK seven. Let me take, let's take these. These are too small for me. Let's have a look. Um, I think they're about an eight, but they're, they're so very narrow. Look how narrow they are, these Edwardian things. Um, it's the narrowness that's the real problem. Um, unlikely to fit the Western market, but maybe, uh, Maybe, maybe they'd go to the Far East. You know, people have slimmer, smaller feet, but we'll see. Um, they are magnificent and I'm going, to, I'm going to treat them very well. I'm going to uh, prepare them. I am going to sell those. But um, once again, I'll do a separate video with, with some measurements and giving, a, giving an idea of the fit. But they make a nice collector's item just as an ornament, but I refuse to have ornaments. My shoes have to fit me, so these will get sold. But, um, let's uh, see now. What I wanted to do was um, the black pair. Um, which I said I was going to sell, but I don't think I'm going to be able to bring myself to do. They've not been moisturised in years, and um, I've had the shoe trees in the nice and tight. And I just want to, um, I just want to sort of see what's on the surface. I'm going to use a little bit of alcohol and um, start stripping the surface, and we'll see what comes off on the cotton wool. It doesn't look like there's much on there, to be honest with you. Um, sometimes old shoes, are, old exotics are covered in polish, which shouldn't be there. I've discussed that in previous videos, why not to use... Why not to use polish? And let me just get a bit of cotton wool. And I've got a huge container of alcohol here, isopropyl alcohol. A little bit awkward to use for a big container, but 
I've not decanted it into anything smaller for this video. So let's just, oops, spilt it all down my leg and all down the floor, never mind. So I'm just gonna, let's have a look, just wipe it over quite heavily. Actually, there's not really anything coming off on the, uh, on the cotton wall, um, but uh, I'll, I'll treat them very, you know, very liberally with this. Mm, not really, not really anything on the surface. Um, it seems to me like they've got um, some kind of a clear or neutral moisturiser on them, but I don't know what it is. I need it all off so that uh, actually, you know, when that skin's wet, it looks absolutely beautiful. It's got such a glitz and fully moisturised. Yeah, that's really rather what they'll look like. They'll look quite wet and slippy. Um, they're not that dry and they're in very good condition and they do fit me. I've just never got round to doing this before. And because I've not been wearing them, I was thinking, no, I'll sell those. But the simple truth is, once these are, once these are moisturised and buffed properly, I don't think I'm going to be able to bring myself to do it. But we shall see. I might be able to bite the bullet. I do want to buy myself another car, and I'm re always reluctant to, uh, to spend any cash reserves on such things as cars, and I will not borrow. But if I sell a, if I sell a few pairs of shoes, that might go towards buying another car. Who, who knows? I'm, uh, I'm strange how I acquire things. I just don't. I never ever put myself in the position of borrowing money. And as I say to you, I don't like to be spending cash reserves on things like cars. So any, I, I have been selling a few pairs of shoes recently. And if I'm absolutely honest, I'm saving, saving the money from the, uh, the, the sale of the various pairs that have gone towards buying a car. And uh, it'll be quite, quite amusing to have a, have a nice car paid for by shoes that I've been wastefully leaving lying about. But uh, yeah, there's not really any polish on that. I've, I've gone over it for a few minutes. There's a little bit of black, but um, it, it'll probably take about five or 10 minutes to do both shoes, just, just rubbing with alcohol, then leave it to dry, at least overnight. And I would expect they would come up really looking quite gray. Um, I'm waiting for a delivery of some, um, for some black moisturizing cream, in fact. And um, it's, uh, you know, it's, it'll be coming in the post and uh, I don't have it today. So even if I want to, I can't apply the cream today. And I shall do the same with this pair. I'll give them just a quick lick over with the, um, with the alcohol and I'll give them at least 10, 10 or 15 um, applications of moisturiser. I'll moisturise all the soles and I'll moisturise all the linings, get them absolutely perfect and supple before I attempt to sell these. But um, they're, they're around about a UK size 8. Um, let's have a look. I've got a tape measure here, in fact. Let's just check how long they are. I've never done this before. I know most of the shoes I wear are around about 29 or 30 centimetres. In fact, they are 29, they're 30 centimetres long, um, which is a bit of a surprise. Let's just um, check a pair that I actually can fit my feet into rather easily. I've obviously uh, forgotten what measurements they normally are. Oh, that's 31. So yeah, they are, they're around about a UK eight, um, but they're very slim, very, very slim. But um, I'm, I'm just going to cut it here because I'm starting to waffle on now and I just wanted to sort of uh, show you what I'm up to over the next couple of days. I'm going to be, uh, you know, take a long time to clean these up and they are definitely going to get sold. And it won't, it won't take too long to, these will be easy, they're already well moisturised. Two or three minutes with the alcohol and one or two applications over a couple of days with the moisturiser and they will buff up beautifully. Uh, the black pair, because I've never done those before, that will take two or three weeks of moisturiser on top of moisturiser on top of moisturiser, just like I demonstrated in the uh, videos with the um, with the uh, lizard skins. So uh, yeah, actually I'm looking forward to seeing those. So uh, well, well, you know, cleaned up well, they'll come up beautifully. They'll look quite new, and I think I'll struggle to sell those. I don't think they'll end up for sale. But um, thank you for thank you for watching this, and um, I'll be posting more soon.